I've always been obsessed with nature. So whenever we went on holiday, I, I was the weird kid sitting in the corner just staring at lizards and on the wall, just being obsessed with looking under rocks for everything. And I'm Tom Crowther, uh, and I'm a, an ecosystem ecologist trying to better understand and address climate change. The natural system is so complex and interconnected that managing it without understanding it first is can be very dangerous. The eradication of sparrows in China is a really prominent example because it was expected that removal of these pests would increase crop yields, but in the absence of those pests, insect populations absolutely boomed and they decimated the crops, which was one of the main contributing factors to the Great Chinese Famine, which killed over 30 million people. And it just shows the value of understanding our ecosystems before we take action. Our lab, it's really the coming together of a really interdisciplinary group of scientists who work on a range of topics from remote sensing and satellite data all the way to the minutiae of microbial DNA. It's amazing when we have our lab meetings now, you have the, the genetic sequencing guy sitting next to the remote sensing guy and they realize that they can help each other. We work across such a range of topics that bringing them all together into a holistic sort of perspective can sometimes be challenging. But GIS provides the perfect framework to organize and visualize and understand the whole system. Until recently, we had to focus on particular components of the ecosystem, but now we can layer on additional layers of information. And with every new layer of information, we see not only how these ecosystems support one another, but also how that varies across the world. That's the kind of information we need if we're going to generate meaningful models that act accurately predict how things are going to change into the future. It is an incredibly, incredibly lucky time to be an ecologist. Because for the last hundred years, ecologists, incredibly good ecologists, have been categorizing small ecosystems, but without the perspective of putting it all together. Now that we can map the system so well, that allows our models to become alive and then people can connect with it, which has been incredible for inspiring people to understand and, and get engaged, yeah. It's, it's an amazing time.